hair by this grace in this video I'm going to talk more about um, when I was doing the online dating thing I did that for on, on and off for years should have stopped long before then it became years and I quit doing that about four years ago or so and why it reminds me of that show catfish okay and some of the reasons um, it does I mentioned in another video that like meeting them is meeting the person that you thought it would be but once you you know once I met them it wasn't just me um, who I'm talking about but they weren't the same you know it was, it was always men the women I knew we all only dated men and um, it just wasn't the same man it was the same man in the picture that that yes so it wasn't somebody totally different but the personality was very different um, and a lot often it was the lies that were told were you know it wasn't the truth what he said wasn't the truth when you when you know we met okay an example there was a man I uh, this was, I don't know how many years ago agreed to you know met him online agreed to meet him at a restaurant uh, I never let them pick me up, you know, or anything like that. I drove myself always public place, as people say, to make it sure it's safe. Well, nothing is 100%, that's true for certain. But um, I met him there, and uh, he parked kind of like far away from the restaurant, even though there were parking spots. And, uh, you know, I was looking around, standing outside, waiting, you know, to see if I met this man, you know, find him. Anyway, he parked kind of far from it, but I wasn't paying any attention to, you know, too much at the moment. Well, we went into the restaurant, sat down, and he just gave me the heebie-jeebies, really. Wasn't like the same person I spoke to online. Yeah, his, his personality was very different. And he sat there bragging about himself and saying all kinds of what I could tell in a way, not 100%, but he was lying. Now, I don't lies. usually judge people by their appearance, but he had his eyebrows shaped to where, like, the middle of the eyebrow, there was, like, long eyebrows that would stick straight up. Yeah, that was, that was really creepy. Did you see how fast that light changed? But, yeah, it was especially creepy. Um, I don't know what he was trying to achieve with that, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he sat there and he talked about himself like he was some millionaire or something and no he wasn't he said would say things like that he drove uh, Mercedes and he drove you know Porsches all this kind of stuff and I'm like why does this man just feel the need to, to sit there and lie you know he's not going to impress me at all by lies and it's pretty obvious they're lies and anyway so when we got from there walked out you know like I said I drove myself and I could see him walking or I, when I got in my car and backed up or something I could see where he was walking toward what it was and it was like a really old broken down car that uh, you know had more rust than paint and uh, the what is it called the roof inside was torn tearing down and everything yeah, you know, and I don't, I really didn't care, but somebody to sit there and lie like that, and then driving that, you know, is this person just trying to lie to, to impress, or is he just really such a pathological liar that maybe he believes his lies, maybe he believed that was a Mercedes he was driving instead of an old beat up car that was more rust than paint, you see what I'm saying? I want to tell another one. And this one's going to make you question, well, does she really care about her parents or not? Or is she lying? <laughs> yeah, this is part of the story, okay? This one, um, it was a guy, I spoke to him over the phone, I don't know how many times, you know, and from an online dating site, over the phone, and uh, met in person that he had never mentioned. He, he had this, you know, a lot of pictures are often just the face, you know, up to like the shoulders or something some profiles but uh, he never mentioned that um, well when we met in person we met at a rest another restaurant and I think he was already in there and I saw this I saw a man walk in there into that restaurant before, right before me and I said I wonder if that's him I don't really judge by size but what he said the restaurant, and I see 
his face, and his face looks like his, so I knew it was this guy. But the guy probably weighed around 550 to 600 pounds. Now, everything he had said up to that point about himself was a lie, which, like I said, I really don't care about somebody's size, but what he said at, at the restaurant was that he had lost a couple hundred pounds and that he was so happy about it, he lost a couple hundred pounds and that he doesn't have much to lose now. He weighed probably, at that time, right there sitting in front of me, around 550, 600 pounds. When somebody's kind of delusional about themselves, yeah, I, it's not something I'm looking, I don't want to be messing around with that kind of person at all. I'm going to say, oh, I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> I said that person. But you see what I'm saying? If they're really delusional about how they look or something about what the money they have, what they look, how any of this and they they feel a need to kind of brag about about it yeah I don't, I don't have any intention of dating someone like that never did back then and yeah that would be bye bye kind of thing so yeah the way that they're different isn't you know from it's, it reminds me of catfish isn't all about money and looks and what they have and all that no, it's not that. It's a lot of it, like I said, it's about their personality. Their personality being so different. And I think I'll make another video for that, just that topic, and wrap this one up. Um, so if you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you're watching the video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you would, and I'll talk to you on another video.